Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm sharing with you the new Procter & Gamble rebate promotion! If you have not yet had an opportunity to do so, please be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for stopping by to see what this video is all about. All right, first of all, I am currently on the pggoodeveryday.com website. That's PG for Procter & Gamble. Good for always trying to do something good for us here out there. And every day, obviously, every day of our lives, Procter & Gamble is trying to change it for the good. All right, so we're on pggoodeveryday.com. If you're unfamiliar with the website, you want to get familiar with the website because they do offer a wide variety of different products, including benefits for you as a consumer, coupons, samples, all different kinds of fun things. Now, I'm not logged on, so there's no personal information I'm sharing with you you on this website but if you do want to go ahead and sign up you click in the upper left hand corner sign up you can see it right next to log in or sign up it's your decision and then you'll see towards the right of the page that you will see log in and then like a little person above it that would mean that you're logged in as yourself all right so what's great about this website is you can scan a Procter & Gamble purchase receipt and earn points per Procter & Gamble purchase. So for example, if you were to pick up something like a can of Febreze spray for the room, you save your receipt, you click on the earn points towards the bottom, and then you'll see that you can go ahead and scan in your receipt. But seeing that I'm not logged in, I can't exactly go ahead and scan through the receipt, but this is the portion where you would go ahead and click on to get to scan a receipt. Once you scan in your receipt, the website verifies your purchase and usually comes back with rewarding your points to your account. Uh, probably I'd want to say usually it's less than 24 hours as far as wait time. So once you get to 750 points because you earn 50 points per purchase of Procter & Gamble participating items, you can go ahead and see whether or not they have in the rewards section gift cards. Currently, they're all out of gift cards as well as samples too. But with the gift cards, when they do have them, you can get something like Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, things like that. But right now, they're currently out of gift cards. I know that. And it's an e-gift card, so it's pretty much, again, sent to you within 24 hours of redemption. Now, with those points, the maximum amount that you can go ahead and receive would be 250 points per receipt scan. And you can upload a total of, I believe it's five receipts within a 30 day period. So if for example, you made a purchase um, more than five times, just save your receipt until that 30 day window goes ahead and expands and then you can possibly get credit um, past the 30 day window that you've already exceeded. I hope that makes sense. All right, so the really, really awesome thing going on now is there is a a new rebate and how I got to this section is I clicked in the upper left hand corner of the site this is using a mobile device which a lot of us have nowadays and you'll see those three little lines you click on it and you go down to underneath rewards and coupons area where it says rebates and there is a new holiday savings rebate now, we did have a fabric care fall rebate. If you haven't yet submitted for it, you do still have some time. I'm going to click on it and share with you the date you must submit by the 22nd of October. But it was regarding purchases made between August 13th and September 23rd. If you think you still have a receipt and still know where those barcodes are to get 
the ball rolling as far as redemption so you can get your gift card you still have a few days left so go check into that if that's something that you still think you might have a receipt laying around for all right back to the great news about this holiday savings rebate so it's a new rebate available that procter and gamble is sponsoring and this time it's a limit of two per household. And what that means is like if you and say, for example, your husband or you and your sister or you and your brother, you share the same household, the same mailing address, the same cards, you know, things like that. You can only do this rebate twice during the period of qualifying. But if, for example, you have like your um, information registered to one address and like say for example you still like coupon and things like that with different family members but maybe they have like a p.o box maybe you could try um you know having your rebate sent to your your sister or your brother or your spouse's p.o box that they might have established i'm just giving you a suggestion but with this promotion it does indicate two times that you can do redemption in any way per household now let's talk about what i mean like per redemption and things so you have two options as far as qualifying for this new promotion you can either spend fifty dollars and this is after all coupons are considered and you can earn back fifteen dollars in a prepaid visa gift card or you can go ahead and choose to do the lower of the two, which would be spend $20 after all coupons, but before sales tax, of course. And then if you did $20 after all coupons, you'd only get back a $5 prepaid Visa gift card. Now, any combination you do, two is the limit per household so you can't do two times 50 two times 20 and expect you're going to get back 40 dollars in gift cards no it's either if you want to do it two times where it's 20 or one and one or any combination thereof two times that's it now here are the participating products included in this promotion they are as follows tied Tide laundry detergent, Tide pods, Tide simply. I'm pretty sure they all count. I will go ahead and I will verify just to make sure if Tide simply, for example, isn't working, which I, I'm pretty positive it is. I will let you know somewhere in the comments down below so you're aware. It says Downy. Downy that goes for Unstoppables, Liquid, those, those, um, dryer sheets downy products now if it's infused with downy and it's like a tide product that wouldn't count as a downy product but it would still count it as a tide product so it would qualify gain so that would be the gain flings the gain laundry detergent things like that draft that's like the baby laundry detergent so that would go if they had a pods or laundry detergent or if they had like a softener that's draft name brand it and you can check as you're going along before you submit your rebate that your products qualify too so you can do the same work i'm going to do bounce that would be the bounce like fabric softener um if they had one specified i don't know if they do but definitely i know bounce has the dryer sheets cascade that would be like the cascade either in like a box either in a tub or either in a bag and that's mainly for your dishwasher dawn that goes for like the dawn like the power wash the dawn liquid detergent like for your dishes things like that swiffer that would be probably like the power mop the wet mop the wood products for swiffer um the refills things like that old spice that would probably be body washes too but i know they have deodorant um they sometimes have some lotions secret that's like the deodorant line that secret has for women safeguard that's like uh different sprays for sanitizing and making things safe 
Oral B, that would be like Oral B toothpaste, Oral B toothbrush products, crest paste, rinse or whitening products, head and shoulders, obviously that shampoo and conditioner lines, and Olay skin. That could be anything from beauty products for Olay to um, like their night creams and things like that. So those are the products included. You won't see every Procter & Gamble um, product included. Like for example, Mr. Clean, I don't see on there. So that's just sharing with you some of the products aren't included. Now let's read the fine print. It includes... It says rebate excludes trial travel size. Rebate applies to the price paid after any coupon or discount has been applied. Offer valid for products purchased October 1st through December 31st. And it must be postmarked by January 15th. Now, I always submit my receipts and uh, the UPC barcodes online. So I don't know if there uh, is possibly a way that you can print it out and mail it in. But there probably is because I know I see the actual mail-in certificate at local grocery stores sometimes. Now, this rebate does say one more time excludes trial travel it applies to the price paid after any coupon or discount has been applied offer valid for products purchased between october 1st 2023 to december 31st 2023 limit two submissions per household that means anyone who shares the same household multiple submissions for the same receipt will not be honored. To redeem this offer, please complete and submit the form below. And it says, enter in your contact information. It does state their street address. But I know in the past, some people have used PO boxes. Email address, make sure you're not using the same email address if you plan on doing some other secret way as far as submitting. And it does ask for a date of birth, not the actual day, just the month and the year. And then it goes on to say purchase information. Now here's another key detail. If you have more than one receipt, please provide the most recent retailer and purchase date. That would mean the one that's closest to the date that you're submitting on, along with the combined purchase total from all receipts. So say, for example, you want to do this, okay? But you didn't purchase $20 worth of product after coupons were considered. You could go ahead and submit multiple receipts, Make sure your pictures are clear and you circle your items so that you can go ahead and have everything in order so when submission time and review happens, it happens the right way. I've already run into an unfortunate situation where I spent, I know I did, over $50 after coupons. Before coupons, it was way over $100. And the rebate submissions department went ahead and granted me a $5 gift card indicating that I only purchased $20 after coupons and before tax was considered. And I know for a fact it was after coupons over $50. So you want to make sure that just everything's squared away. Maybe if you have exceeding over the 50 and you definitely want to get back that $15, you know, maybe do a couple more dollars. I'm sure you'll definitely have plenty of time to pack in those Procter & Gamble goodie items before the end of this year. Okay, so it asks for the retailer, the date of purchase, and the receipt total. We talked about that. And it says for each eligible item, please enter the UPC code, the quantity purchased, price per item after after is underlined any coupon or discount has been applied okay and you could enter in the upc barcode and as you start typing i'm just trying to share with you it does say that i have to log in okay you'll see that but 
But if I was logged in, as soon as I clicked on the UPC code, it will start bringing up different items and it'll make it easier on you as far as submission goes. And then it will allow you five pictures. It says limit five files up to five millibytes each, something like that. <laughs> and it's either in JPEG, PNG, or PDF form. And then you would check that box. And then if you want to go ahead and check this box by registering, you agree to receive emails. And then you would submit your receipts and your purchases that way. And then the team over at Procter & Gamble Rebate will review your receipts, review your UPC barcodes, and go from there. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to stop this video and I'm just going to go ahead and throw out some of the purchases that I made this week regarding Rite Aid in particular, where they had a Procter & Gamble promotion where it was spend $20 before coupons, earn back $5 in bonus cash. And that's a limit of two per Rite Aid reward member account. But because as a result of my purchases this week over at Rite Aid, as well as last week, I already have $46 after coupons are considered towards tracking, towards getting a $15 prepaid Visa gift card. So I have my purchase prices circled. I have a little piece of paper that I have my UPC barcodes written down of the items that I purchased that qualified. Keep in mind, Dawn and Cascade qualify, but Mr. Clean, for example, doesn't qualify, unfortunately. So I'm going to share with you um, just a little bit more details before I finalize this video, but it's going to be a multi-part. So I'm going to combine it all at the end and go from there with you all. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so this is what I did want to share with you before I go ahead and I wrap up my video. I have gone ahead and taken a few pictures of some of the Procter & Gamble holiday rebate promotional qualifying items that I picked up over at Rite Aid this week. Um, I picked up a lot of Old Spice deodorants because I had a monthly bonus cash challenge. There's $2 back on Ibotta rebates and that awesome spend booster and the purchase based coupons going over at Rite Aid. But I kept my receipt and for example, on a lot of them, I spent the full price of $6.99. And on some of them, I had like my purchase based coupons attached, so I didn't get quite as much credit for the tracking purposes. But still, I'm going to save that. And I have established um, at least, I, I think it's at least over $20. And it's like halfway there towards that 50. But altogether I have uh, $46.02. And I picked up like this Dawn. That's on sale at Rite Aid for $3.29 this week. There's a 50 cent off digital load to card that will count against the rebate too. But when you buy $20 in Procter & Gamble select items over at Rite Aid this week, you earn back $5 in bonus cash. So that's like a great combination of everything. So like I got this Dawn, that's going to track. I got this Dawn, that's going to track. I got that Tide Simply laundry detergent. That tracks too. And the Tide Simply pods, they track as well. And the Cascade 25 count bag of dishwasher detergent pods, they track as well. But like all of these purchases that I'm making, I'm saving my receipts and I'm writing down these UPC barcodes. So this way, when I see that I've reached after my coupons were considered, whatever the item shows as, it's going to be underneath. It'll show load to card or manufacturer coupon. I have to take that into consideration. But once I get above $50 where I need to be at, 
then I'm ready to just submit my receipts and hopefully I can get my pictures right so everything's all tracking, all organized in that. But save your receipts for your purchases. If you don't want to send send anything in like um, earlier that, you still have the full month of November and the full month of December to track for this promotion. So plenty, plenty of promotions will take place regarding Procter & Gamble items before submission period ends. So keep that in mind. And even if you have the receipts and you exceed it, like your two for the household, you might want to be a friend of a friend and help a friend out and get them a way to get a new account and get the benefit of this rebate too. So you can also help others too if you exceed it, as long as they want the help. But if they don't, you know, then that's okay. Maybe some, some other person will. But I hope you all enjoy this video, exploring, sharing um, different things regarding this new Procter & Gamble promotion. And once again, please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos such as the one that I've shared with you today. I hope you enjoy this video and I will definitely, certainly catch you on my next video. Keep in mind, Tide Simply purchases made over at Rite Aid this week will count towards tracking. How awesome. I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.